Nokia Sugar Bowl, our Sports Center showcase highlight. Both teams showed up for the first meeting between the two in 13 years. First quarter, Gators leading 7 3. Rex Grossman up top. Rache Caldwell, he's there to come down with it. Grossman, 18, 41, two picks, 252, 47 on this one. But Caldwell gets up, celebrates, shows first down, they flag him 15 yards. That's not good. Steve Spurrier's kicker had to come out, tried from 51 yards, and he would miss. Miami getting it back down 7-3. Ken Dorsey, Jeremy Shockey, eight-yard touchdown. Kings take the lead 10-7. Shockey is pleased with himself. Third quarter, Miami leading 13-10. Dorsey again rolling right, but this time he finds a blue jersey. Kiwan Ratliff is there to pick it off. Dorsey, 22 of 40, 270 yards and two picks. He also had two touchdowns and suing Gator possession here. Ernest Graham. Ernest Graham is a player. Steve Spurrier says he's about the only guy that did anything right in this game. He should have just handed it to him every time. This time, 36 yards for the touchdown. He ran it 15 times for 136 yards. Gators up 17-13. Miami, second and 22. Dorsey throws incomplete. But Gerard Warren brings him down hard, roughing the passer. Spurrier's team penalized nine times for 79 yards. Automatic first down. Dorsey and the Canes take advantage. D.J. Williams, he was open. Miami goes on top 2017, fourth lead change in the ballgame. Still third quarter. Daryl Jones subbing for Santana Moss, who had a sore back. And look at Jones with the punt. He actually has a better punt return average this season by about six yards than Moss. Down to the Gator 25-yard line. That's going to set up a touchdown. Dorsey rolling right. How about Najee Davenport in the end zone? He wants the ball. He just goes and gets it. Canes, 27-17. We'll look at it again. Same thing, only slower. Marcus Akendo Johnson, nice coverage. But Davenport just in there. He wanted the six points. Butch Davis loves it and says, vote for us. Fourth quarter. Gates leading 30-20. Davenport just powering into the end zone. Carried it six times for 17 yards. Now look at Sebastian the Ibis comes in here. He loves the big lineman. Gives him a big old smoocher. Oh, but the Canes get penalized for that unsportsmanlike or excessive participation or something. They made an extra point from 50 yards and win the game 37-20. They improved to 4-0 in ball games. Bowl games under Butch Davis. They even up the all-time series with Florida at 25 wins apiece. They have now won 90 consecutive games dating back to 1988 when scoring 30 or more points for the Gators. They fall to 2-5 all-time in Sugar Bowls. Only the second time in nine years the Big East champ has won a postseason game. And September 9th loss to Washington accepted. Miami's run of 10 wins in a row has been pretty stout. Coach, make your case. We're very honored to be Sugar Bowl champions. Uh, I'm proud of our kids. I'm proud of the perspective that they had, and they were able to uh, maintain their focus this entire season to hopefully make uh, a night like tonight happen. This means a lot to us. Uh, we're so happy to be in such a great bowl. It's in such a great team. Uh, in the position we're at, our, our destiny was in our hands tonight. And, um, you know, we were just came out and played with all of our heart. This is a real emotional win. And uh, we came into this game wanting to be number one. And uh, I think we proved tonight that we're the best team in the nation. Really embarrassing the way we played. But give Miami credit, they're better than us. They're, they're better than us. Better coach, more discipline. Uh, had more of a purpose. Uh, they just a lot better team we are. That's all you can say. Miami finishes the season 11 and 1, including a bowl win for the fourth time in school history. In the previous three occurrences, the Canes have won the national championship twice. And with their win over Florida, they make a strong case for themselves in the Riders' poll to finish as national champion if Florida State can knock off Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Our game day crew is in Miami, and they get paid to discuss these kind of things.